outside Art Center Pushkinskaya Zyasyet, um, which is that hidden little art gallery that I was trying to find the last time that I could not. And uh, it exists. Here it is. It's hard to find. It's rarely open. It's down this little alleyway. And it's supposed to be like the mecca of St. Petersburg modern art. It's supposed to be this fantastic, amazing, super place to go. So we're going to check it out and see if it is. Um, I was here briefly with a Russian friend earlier in the week, but he wanted to leave because it smelled like a dead thing inside. So um, I only saw it briefly, but uniform, it did not seem to have any staff. This is it. We go through this little building. To a courtyard and then the gallery branches off in a bunch of different directions from here. So just in the alleyway before we get to the actual gallery there's a little cafe back here that's part of it slash bar and then there's this really cool record store and I mean like actual records like vinyl records which is pretty awesome and the alleyway is full of a bunch of street art <laughs> including this like sort of Beatles themed entranceway here. And there's posters, 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 posters for art events. Although most of them are about Halloween, which is a bit already happened. But here we go. So now we are in the art center, which is open to the public for four hours a day, four days a week. It smells like sawdust and maybe a dead thing. And the walls are written on, written on, written on, written on. Um, but we have got some art going on, which is promising. Um, it's a lot of, I don't know, everything looks pretty dirty. All the stuff we saw the other day, I went in a different door, it was pretty abject and I, uh, I haven't got high hopes for this section in terms of how cheery the art's going to be. Although this guy is fantastic, check this out. He's on a little cart, he moves. Uh, this, for example, is made out of cigarette butts. Next to it is this great sort of site-specific sculpture for this stairwell. It's just made out of wood covered in plastic as near as I can tell. That's exactly the height of this space. So these are color exercises that were done in an art course that was run here recently. You can take courses here. There's also a whole bunch of artist workspaces. All these doors that we keep walking past at the top of all the stairwells are people's studios. And then we've got some kind of gallery spaces on the sides as well. There's one here. So what we have in this little gallery that I just walked into is a little multi-artist show um, on a bit of a religious theme. We've got all kinds of paintings of saints and Jesus. And we've got some interesting takes on crosses. <laughs> Sorry, that last one was called Adam and Eve, but I couldn't say anything because the science had no videos. <laughs> I have to be stealthy. But I thought it was really cool they used the um, the natural knots in the woods as um, like hands and breasts and things. So it was very clever. I'm fond of this too. This is a door that looks exactly like one of the offices in here. One of the studios, I guess. You would think it was just a room. But. Surprise! It's a secret cabinet. Okay, I'll go back so you can see the whole thing. Here we have some customer reviews. It says, Too bad all the doors are closed. Our doors are open. 
The place looks nice. Art is cool. Have a nice day. Meet. <laughs> of course. Great. Thank you. And the dingy hallway art theme continues. <laughs> Great. Look at this. And continues. They're right, you know, all the doors are closed. Um, I knocked on one that had music coming from behind it and nobody answered. It's like, oh. But I mean, that's fair, it's somebody's studio, right? So <laughs> they don't have to open the door for everyone who comes knocking. I imagine a lot of people come knocking. This bicycle has been bandaged. I know I've come here for this as an art gallery, but what I'm really interested in is all the graffiti there's so <laughs> really cool slash beautiful slash ridiculous examples, all kinds of little drawings. A lot of it's very, you know, like like we've got like anarchy over here for example. Lucky over here for example. I wrote on their wall. Uh I wrote Yachin Fault and the Mike uh Yellow Blue Toy Art Center, which means I don't speak Russian very well, but I like your art center. And um, it's next to this one that says, thank you, friendly world, which <laughs> makes me glad. Incidentally, near, which means world, also means community. So they could mean thank you, friendly community. Um, but well, I see evidence of a community around here, I personally have not found it particularly friendly so far, having seen exactly one person that, <laughs> you know. So, down another alleyway, we supposedly have another little gallery building. Ha ha ha. Oh, here we go. Freedom is space for the spirit. It's on the third floor in here somewhere. Apparently they have big festivals in these squares every year to celebrate the anniversary of the gallery. Um, the gallery started out as a squat. A bunch of artists moved into this abandoned set of buildings and just took it over. And by the time anybody found them, they'd gotten really established and they were allowed to stay, which is really fantastic, actually. Uh, but it remains one of the few Russian art galleries that is not at all government. But it's interesting, actually. All of the really old galleries, the galleries showing really classical art, are completely government funded and then the more modern the content of your gallery gets, the less the Russian government gives you. And when I went to... Alright, are you ready for what's in the room right off this crazy hallway? <laughs> yes, contrast. I don't think there's anything else in this building. It's another one of those kind of dead endy staircases. Uh, so here, next to the Russian meat is death stencil, we've got this little like uh, not academ stencil, which um, I don't know. I've been very surprised by the content of this place. I was expecting, like everyone's like, oh, Pushkin Sarayas is yeah, this is the place to go for modern art in Saint Petersburg, and etc. And like everything new and happening and wonderful is here. That's a hair salon in there. Um, and I was expecting sort of like the cutting edge of art, and instead there's a lot of stuff that looks a couple of decades old almost, and then. Everything in the exhibition halls, like that that exhibit of the pencil drawings I was just in, or the, the pen and ink drawings rather, um, was just beautiful, like beautifully rendered portraits, but it, it wasn't like something you would have expected in what's supposedly like the, the most modern art gallery in St. Petersburg at all. And um, this kind of goes along with, I, I went on a tour of the art school as I was saying, and everyone is copying ancient masters and just um, like making Roman statues like copies of copies of copies of ancient Greek and Roman statues and um, copies of oil paintings from a couple of centuries ago and it's like that that's how they're all learning it's all a very classical style it's all there's nothing modern going on at all really and like um, 
incidentally, the gift shop hours are much bigger than the actual gallery hours. This building is all studios, there's nothing really for us to look at as the public, but it's a nice wall there. Okay, this is perhaps more what I expected. Um, here we've got a burning Barbie doll, and a picture of the doll, and then here we've got a bunch of Barbie dolls that have been modified. The artist is calling herself Joan of Arc, which I think is great. It would be nice to know who really did this. My favorites are this one. And this one. And this one. Look at this finger of a leg. Oh, it's great. Also, I've got no idea where they found that dawn time. And this floor is also meant to have a gallery on it, but, uh, no soap. Well, I'm glad you have come here, um, if only to, you know, <laughs> see what it was all about. Um, but I think my lack of an ability to find anything has very little to do with the fact that I don't speak Russian. Um, as if it's by the fact that I just ran into two Russian-speaking girls who were complaining that they couldn't find any art in here at all. I found more than they had. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not sure I'd recommend being by here unless there's an event going on, honestly, because it's, it's not very accessible. It's, it's sort of poorly shoved together in terms of any kind of maps organization. And... I've been able to find exactly, <laughs> I think, four small galleries, which one was really good. Okay, yeah, you know what? If you come here, what you've got to do is go through the alleyway and then turn left and go in the building that's on the left, um, because this is the building with the decent galleries in it. Otherwise, uh, Pushkin's guy just yet. Not, not what it was worked out to be at all. Not at all. Good dancing in the courtyard. Don't know if you guys can hear this, but someone's playing um, the Pulp Fiction soundtrack really loudly, and you know, nothing else. You can dance in the courtyard. Okay, correction. <laughs> if nothing else, dancing in the alleyway is is not the only thing to do here. You absolutely must come and go down the Beatles themed alley and ring this doorbell just here. I know it's very dark. This is the office of um, the St. Petersburg Beatles Temple. Temple to peace and love based on the ideas of John Lennon. And there's this guy inside who has this Beatles shrine of a basement room and it's the most uplifting place I've ever seen. Nothing to do with the art gallery, but worth checking out.